Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I stated numerous times that the second club as an alternative, the big club, uh, is in formation, is in creation. And that is uh, on the foundation of the BRICS countries, obviously with the leadership of U uh, Ukraine, <laughs> Russia and uh, China, uh, they will challenge the other club and all the other countries that were mistreated um, in various ways uh, will probably migrate from the sphere of influence of the big club into the next clubs, the second clubs, uh, policies and whatever organizations they will create. I suspect the new club will form its own organizations uh, with different rules, global rules. They will get out of the old organizations that are dominated by the big boss from the, you know, the Zimbabwean boss. And um, this is showing by how both clubs are trying to, you know, to recruit their members by uh, bribing, uh, bribery. That is, that is, you know, uh, I'm going to invest, I'm going to give you this aid come with me, allow me to put some weapons, uh, some rockets on your territory. This was an Nepal's example yesterday, I posted it. And South, uh, South, uh, in East, East Asia and Southeast Asian area, the, again, uh, United States sent its uh, Japanese uh, foreign minister to do its, uh, not foreign minister, it was the, the prime minister doing his bidding over there and trying to, but didn't do much. Nevertheless, here we have uh, the big challenge, and if that happens here in the United States, all of a sudden we will become poorer, I tell you that. And that is the challenges of the, to the U.S. dollars are being, as being the reserve, global reserve currency. If that gets challenged, only a bit, the power of the, the petrodollar will fall uh, greatly. And that's gonna, not going to be good here because we got to start producing something actually not only printing money paying you guys and you guys work for us that's how it is print money give you the dollars and you guys are going to bring your products here that we print i will give you paper or numbers no and you guys just give us the product that's why we have stuff not us made not us made not us made not us made nevertheless let's go we provide services that means massages to one another you know uh, all right post-industrial economy that's how they say here in college it's a uh, uh, service-based economy service what getting fleas from one another and uh, going to the hair saloon or something jesus christ anyway this is june 24th 2022 it works so far because you got weapons and things <laughs> so russia and china are brewing up a challenge to dollar dominance by creating a new reserve currency Done. Let's go. Russia and China are developing a new reserve currency with other BRICS countries, President Vladimir Putin said. BRICS countries is Brazil, Russia, India, uh, China, and South Africa. All right. The basket, and we, we got some other ones too, they're already in there. The basket currency would rival a US dominated IMF alternative and let Russia widen its influence and an, an, an anal analyst said it's only russian it's just an alternative you don't if you, you want to have only one bank in town or you want to have three banks competing to without with one another don't tell me you want only one bank because then that makes you communist all right when you go to the store you don't have only one kind of bread you would like to have more options right a variety so they can compete against another the price goes down and the quality goes up because I'm going to give you something cheaper or more expensive, but of better quality. They compete. So, yeah, IMF, thank you very much. Um, International Monetary Fund and the uh, World Bank. Those, those guys, those guys are, there, are under whose uh, uh, control? The big bosses. International and, um, yeah, World Bank and so on. Look who's behind all that. The dollar's dom dominance is already eroding as central banks diversify into the Chinese yuan and smaller currency. Russia is ready to develop a new global reserve currency alongside China and other BRICS nations in a potential challenge to the dominance of the US dollar. If that happens, we're done. 
not done. We have to do things. We have to create things. And as I said, we become poorer overnight. Just check that out. President Vladimir Putin signaled the new reserve currency would be based on a basket of currencies from the group's members, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. And I'm quoting, the, ma the matter of creating the international reserve currency based on the basket of currencies of our countries it is under review, Putin told the BRICS Business Forum on Wednesday, according to TASS report. And I'm quoting, we are ready to openly work with all fair partners, end quote. The dollar has long been since as the world seen as the world's reserve currency, but its dominance in share of international currency reserves is waning. Central banks are looking to diversify their holdings into currencies like the yuan, as well as into non-traditional areas like the Swedish krona and South uh, Korean won, according to International Monetary Fund. And I'm quoting, this is a move to address the perceived U.S. hegemony of the IM. It's just perceived. We just imagine stuff. Hegemony of the U.S. So this is a move to address the perceived U.S. hegemony of the IMF. Global head of market Chris Turner said in a note, like we're crazy or something. It will allow BRICS to build their own sphere of influence and un unit of currency within that sphere. Yes. Russia move comes after Western sanctions imposed on the Ukrainian war. No, that was for a long time. They planned it since the BRICS came into being in what, 2009, I think. 2008, 2009. They planned this for a long time. Their relationship with China, it was obvious. You could miss it. But the an analysts were, were too busy analyzing. And therefore, they couldn't see what's going on. I didn't care. These guys, these guys, these guys that are in charge of us, these guys are not geniuses. We know that. And unfortunately, they're over there by weaseling. Weaseling. Jesus Christ. The Central Bank of Russia effectively admitted as much as no doubt some BRICS nations, especially China, took notice of the speed and strength at which the U.S. Treasury moved. The speed which which Western nation and its allies sanctions Russians. Russian FX reserves, no doubt, shocked Russian authorities. It didn't shock. They were ready for that. They, they maybe hoped they wouldn't go that far, but they did. So they, okay, this is, uh, as I said, the Russians had, had the folders ready with, uh, with the scenarios. Senior, scenario A, folder 3,429, out. Okay, this is it. Let's move. Okay, scenario, what, what's going in? Uh, five, uh, okay, give me folder 5,329. Boom, out. That's what they did. They were ready. They were past ready. And these guys were like ready with a cocktail, looking good on the TV, being all uh, driving limousines on the taxpayers' money. That, that, that's how it was. And they were all good. This country here moved, moved from a, a um, how do you call it, a uh, essence, a reality, a good, good, uh, good uh, ground basis to an alternative uh, fake. If you look good, you are good. Not that if you are good. You, if, if you are good, but don't look good, you're not good. You have to look good. If you look good in whatever you do, if you look good, that means automatically that you are good. But you can look good and be zero instead of being, being good and looking zero. What do you want to hire? A guy who looks zero, but he's good? Or you want someone who uh, looks very good, but is zero. Which one do you want to have? I want to have the first option. I want someone to have the job done. I don't care if he's, he's, he's uh, how do you call that, uh, articulated. And if he's suave, if he's charisma, I don't care. Do the job. And these analysts and uh, those, all those uh, how do you call them, uh, advisors and senior advisors. Kushner was a senior advisor. My God, what did he know? about Middle East, besides being Jew, whatever. He was with the Middle East, just being, being Jewish, put him over there, and the son-in-law of Trump. Well, um, unbelievable. And that happens everywhere, everywhere. And that, is it, is it fair? I don't think so. Who's losing? We, we are losing. Because you put people of no quality in the positions where they cannot perform. There will be inefficiency, inefficiency. And they meet Lavrov and they meet, uh, uh, I don't know, the foreign ministry, uh, minister of, um, Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs of India, or they meet uh, Erdogan, and they meet Salman. These, these weasels? Jesus Christ, Blinken? 
or uh, nevertheless, I'm getting to rail up here. So yeah, they will create this alternative uh, uh, alternative currency, and uh, these guys are still thinking these sanctions have likely encouraged Moscow and Beijing to work on an alternative. No, there was just the opportunity. They were getting it ready. This was just the bottom. Say, okay, now it's time. That that's it. Um, it says one possibility is that the BRICS basket currency could attract the reserves not just of the group's members but also countries already in the range of influence from uh, South Asia and Middle East. Be certain about that. Be certain. Russia has seen its currency, the ruble, rebound to above its pre-war level. Thanks to the central bank, after it plunged 70% in less than two weeks after the Ukraine invasion, it has risen 15.2% risen in June to 1.87 cents. It says 1.87 cents. Meanwhile, the, the yuan has held steadily at around 0 0.15 a dollar over the same period. Yeah. And uh, the best performing currency global, the best performing global currency now is the ruble. Articles say experts, analysts. Yeah, we're going to have an alternative. That's good. I don't like it because, uh, you know, actually, I like it because in the long run, that means these guys have to start working. But how can you get the people working when you use, use them to be couch potatoes? How? How would you do that? How do you incentivize them? You're going to get a whip? I don't think so, because they're going to vote you out. So how are you going to stay in power? You have to give them more perks. How do you give them more perks from where? IMF? World Bank? How are you going to give them? Print more money? Inflation. This group is going to go down and the other one still follows the, the, the healthy rules of, um, of, of the world, which is if you don't work and you don't save, you will not have things. You can't just stay and wait and someone else is going to work for you somehow and feeds you and you're going to have the same amount, the same, the same level as that person who works equity right different output but the same outcome no no that's not how the world works look around you how the world uh, the na nature works if a bird doesn't do anything and wait is anybody going to come and feed the bird no it's going to be starving that's the reality you have to go and work and how much you work if a tiger doesn't go and get a i don't know a deer somewhere in the forest who's going to come and feed a tiger nobody and if the tiger is not is incapable of uh, hunting and catching a big deer, it's going to get a little deer, it's going to be weak. The tiger is going to lose weight, lose weight, and then weight is not going to be incapable of even, not going to have the strength to catch the big deer. So you have to catch a certain amount of a big deer, a big deer or a small deer, a big deer, so you can get fat and powerful and strong and put effort into it. This is the nature. We try to alter, alter the reality and the nature. It doesn't work that way. This is here. It's this is a um, artificial reality here. This is a pampered, protected. There's not reality here. It is sometimes for us here, or there, but for them, no. And there's groups. The middle class works like slaves, and then we have the disadvantaged class. That's how we have to work. Disadvantaged class who all its wealth and value they're as good as everybody else. They are there because of these guys took everything and definitely the guys on top, definitely. So we should take everything they have and give it back and these guys will just become all of a sudden productive members of the society. This is kindergarten. This is below 86 IQ ideology. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We're gonna start producing shit. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.